couple hairs at a time and connect the dots. Brushing the hair down, you'll see our C-shape. Right. Now, for those of you barbers out there, or barbers to be out there, it's just interesting and uh, sharpening up your lines and everything. I strongly suggest that you don't dig into the customer's head, but you rather embrace your razor game. If you don't have the razor, uh, the knowledge of a straight razor, you know, buy a DVD. <laughs> straight razor, straight razor DVD can teach you all you need to know in terms of detailing the cut. Or take your time, pull the skin tight with your trimmer and flip your trimmer upside down, opposed to the position we had it here. Pull the skin tight and do your cleanup work. Now, since this customer is going to be wearing a beard and while I'm on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and take the bottom line of his beard and walk it up here to the corner of his jaw there. Clean up the excess, same concept, one finger to the skin here, stretching the skin, pop the hair up so you don't have to leave any scrapes or bruises on the customer. Let the clipper do the work, in this case the trimmer. For the mustache area, I'm going to brush the hair down a tad bit. And again, if you look close, you can see how the, the corner of that trimmer allow you to get in those tight edges. That's the purpose of the T-edges. And those tight edges of a mustache or a goatee. Later on during the DVD, we'll be able to show you a little something about blade care and how you can adjust your blade um, to a zero gap position or bump your blade to a, to a closer cutting position so that you can get these detailed lines. Just for you guys that think we're teaching this and uh, using some tools that, that uh, may be exclusive from the Andes Clipper Company or something like that. That's not necessarily what it is, but there are some barber secrets or some secrets to the uh, to the trade that you can learn or get get some knowledge on so that you'll be able to um, you know acquire that same sharp shape. So with my corners, if you watch close, I'm gonna finish detailing the front part of the beard. Alright? So with the exception of the beard, let's go back to our three main shapes. You gotta have a C shape, corner of the temple down along the front part of the ear. The second, the second shape is gonna shape number two is gonna be up above the top part of the ear and straight down the back of the neck. So we're gonna do that by brushing the hair in front of the ear with the corner of the blade and go in front of the ear. Okay. And then we're going to pull the ear down and go on back of the ear. Clear down the back of the neck. Here. And we're going to clean up the edge of the ear. Okay. Now how about the ear? Okay. All right, you're so With a real light hand, letting the trimmer do the work. Come around the corner here. So with the corner of the blade, we're going to go to the top of the ear, pull the ear down. And we'll clean up the excess here. Since we're working on the back side of the uh, sideburn, we're just going to go ahead and do the line that comes straight down in the front of the ear. And we're going to brush the hair, excuse me, we're going to brush the hair straight down so we get a clean cut. And we're going to do the bottom beard. So just with the 
left side of my trimmer. Get it back to it. And see how we use that left T blade? Get a real nice sharp line across the top of the mustache. Now, before we do this right side, I'm going to get myself a position where I want it to start. That sideline right there, or your front C's on the right side. And I'm going to get myself, make myself a small mark here where I want to finish up. And then with the finger on the face, I'm going to use kind of like a compass technique, and just with the, toward the left corner of the trimmer. I'm going to go a couple hairs at a time, brush down when you feel like you need to. A couple hairs at a time. We're going to connect the left side. Or the bottom left side with the top, excuse me, the bottom 